you gotta realize all these little dudes be out here lying and scamming. They just and a lot of swag is lying. <laughs> like a lot, a lot of swag is lying. So you know, like the old guys, they be lying in weird ways and sounding creepy. And you know, next, next thing you know, you coming off like grandpa. Like <laughs> you feel me? You don't want to come off like grandpa. Come on. Yeah, I yeah. I think yeah. I I agree a hundred percent with the generation. I've been saying this for a long time. We probably could rewind tapes back to 2018. I had to say it right now for the 2020s. Be cool how you be cool. That's all you got to do. And But the problem is we have a double-edged sword, right? We got the young... I mean, I'm just speaking for dudes right now. We got the young dudes, right, who are trying to be everything but themselves, right? And sometimes the problem is they're getting paid to be everything but themselves, right? So now they don't know who they are. But then again, they're usually 21 to 25. You really don't know who you are yet anyways. True. They need more time, right? But then the weird part <laughs> is when you're 45 and you don't know who you are. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And that's because you wanted to do all the other stuff. And I'm saying it's cool to go ahead and be you know, financially good, but you're still soulfully lost. You know what I'm saying? So now you're coming off awkward, and now you're trying to compete with the younger kids who don't even know who they are. So now where are you really going? You feel what I'm saying? Yep. What I want to say about the guys that are socially awkward that know who they are. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> um, they might not be well done, able man. to talk to girls in the way a swaggy, successful man would be able to talk to girls. But if they're themselves, they can still pull who likes who they are exactly it might not be the baddest bitches it might not be the <laughs> instagram models but it is somebody it is somebody who likes exactly who they are i'm just being for real yeah. <laughs> because sheldon which and honestly i watch young sheldon way more I than i watch that you're Big Bang that. Um, theory but you know sheldon's a nerd like he's a super nerd but he pulled a i wouldn't say baddie but she's a attractive uh female he has a, a girlfriend who is attractive but she likes him for the nerdy kind of guy that awkward. he is. Yeah. yeah. He's but very is she awkward. Yeah. She is smart, but she's attractive. So yeah. they kind of have they have no no, but they have <laughs> they have something in common that connects them. She's an A plus and he's a he's a B minus, realistically. Well, I think it's to be honest, I did mention all. earlier that someone that is socially awkward and takes the time to, you know, uses all of their time in their books and their studies sometimes isn't always the most attractive person, but that doesn't mean that they can't be attractive. We can have a socially awkward person that is very attractive, but they're not going to attract the bad bitches and, and whoever because they're not attracted to that kind of personality. So it's like even as you progress and you get all of this success when you're older and you have uh, the money and now you're trying to look for someone to be with, I feel like maybe you can pull a bad bitch, but a bad bitch that can handle the personality that you have. Like, you guys got to be able to interact with each other all the time, go on dates. And if you if you really can't get with somebody that's socially awkward or you don't like anything about this person, like, what what are you guys doing? So, I'm, so I went on a date with this man, just as an example, and he's super, super attractive. He's very successful. And he was fine, like, if it was just him and I. Like, if we sat for dinner, like, it was a great conversation. Well, I wouldn't say great, actually. Sorry. But, like, it was, a, it was, it was an far. okay Let's conversation. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, let me backtrack. Um, but then I took him out in public, and it was embarrassing. the most disastrous thing I've ever done. <laughs> We're sitting smoking hookah, and he was so nervous that he wouldn't even smoke the hookah correctly. And then once he did, he felt like everyone was watching him. He was like, I, I can't sit in a situation because everyone's watching us. So I was like, listen. If we go out together, everyone is going to be watching you. Like, you got to be okay with that. Was everyone really watching him? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, was but it like, in his it head? Was, or he, he was so uncomfortable and socially awkward to the point where I was like, bro, like, I like you, but, like, I can't like you. Because my life is a lot of the times out in people's eyes. Like, I have to be able to go outside with someone that functions. And, like, that that was just not it. Yeah. And, and that's the thing. So we have to be real with what is right now, okay? Let's just be real with what is right now. Whether you are in a pop culture scene, whether you're in a rave scene, whether you're in a hip-hop rap, you know what I'm saying, scene, we all like to have fun. 
here in America. And our fun consists Amazing. of hookah, rooftops, brunches, lounges. lounges, dinners, clubs, concerts. Our fun is public. Our lives are public. So if you are publicly awkward, I'm going to take socially out and say you're publicly awkward. Nobody wants to be with a publicly awkward person because we are all reflections of each other. And I ain't going to have you have me looking crazy. No, Just like I would hope you wouldn't have me have you looking crazy. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, I think it's so important to understand people skills. Yeah. Right? That is, if you don't have people skills, you can never be successful. Yeah. And in my honest opinion, there's probably a lot, I, I would say 50% of successful people right now in this country who just have people skills. They just know how to talk to people. They know how to talk to the right person and they know how to actually, you know, make whatever it is work for them. And that's how they got successful. But those people can have those people skills in the room and outside the room, mm -hmm. in the party, and at home or at family dinner. When, you have, when you're lacking people skills, you're a flawed individual. And it's going to show in your relationship when women are cheating because they're bored of their husband because he had no people skills and he had money. He didn't have the people skills to communicate and have fun with her and excite her and to keep things going because he, he was boring himself. You feel me? So, like, you don't want to lose rich. You don't want to lose being rich. You want to win being rich. You feel what I'm saying? So you need to have these people skills. They are the most important thing. And that's why I go right back to the media training. They train you to learn how to speak in public. But even you know with that, though, Rico. You guys, you guys yeah. understand what I'm trying to say? I really want to see men win out here. Okay, <laughs> okay can we say, what are some things? Go ahead. Okay, Anna, you're about to say something? No, I was going to say, even, even with being trained to get how to, like, the public yeah. speaking and media skills, that is not, for me, like, a true, like, it's not a true social skill. Like, a true social skill for me is, like, I walk into a room with strangers, and I don't even have to, like, say a word, but I can look at you, and I can smile, and all of a sudden, we have a connection, and we can start chatting. And I can talk to you about whatever it is in life that is, like, not if it's something that's, it doesn't even matter. Like, I can speak to you. That is a people skill for me. Like, I can get all the media training in the world, and I can know how to look at a camera. I can look at a, like, look at you doing a yeah. show. But I, so yeah. I've had no media skill, like, training, by the way. <laughs> so all the angles are bad. But, <laughs> like, the social skills, that's, like, a, not always, like, a natural thing, but it's, like, a thing that you have or you don't have. But do you I think that I, it I think it's learn. acquired. It, that's you can learn to get out of your shell to be yourself and like feel like you can connect to people because that's what it comes down to, right? You have to be able to connect to people. So in whatever way that is, like, hey, listen, I know you're Jamaican. I used to go to Jamaica or I, I used to work in a clothing store. You have a fresh fit. Like whatever it is that you can grab and connect to someone else with, that's a people skill. Like if you can make a conversation out of nothing, and still feel connected to a stranger, that's a people skill. And, you, and not everyone has that. But, and you know why? Because they, they lack something that you just mentioned, I kind of mentioned earlier, experience in life. Okay, you just, if, if you're Jamaican, I went to Jamaica. That's an experience of life, right? I have, I wear a cutter, right? For those who are Punjabi Sikh, it's an Indian Bengal that respects the religion. So, I have conversations with people with turbans all the time. And and because you know why I have an experience. They, they see it. No, no, they see it first because like they have a thing. It's like a, a gesture, yeah, like, you know, they, you know. Um, so when they see it, they ask me like, what is that? And then I have, a, I, I've acquired that skill because I've had that experience in life. You know what I'm saying? So when you don't have experiences in life, you cannot acquire people's skills. I I, I, it's not fully true though, because I so again I grew up in a on the countryside of Sweden. We were a hundred people in my village. Like there was like two girls born the same year, so we had to be best friends. Like I had no <laughs> wow. people to train my people skills with when it comes to experience, because I had no experience. I was on a dirt road, but I feel like there's certain things that comes just like naturally with you that makes you interested in other people to the point where you can still connect. And that you can't train. And that you can get experiences and talk about 
common things with people, but there are certain things with social skills that you just have. Well, to you're have. talking about the it factor, and 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 yeah, you, I agree. But what I'm saying is, we already know. Well, not we, but let's just say me and you are having an understanding right now that there is an it factor that is never going to be trained. You either got it or yeah. you don't. But what I'm talking about is a balance of life. True. Right? So if you want to be able to acquire all of these things, let's just say X, right? You want to go ahead and acquire all of X. You can do that, but don't forget to learn how to balance Y. Because if you have all of X and none of Y, you're going to be left with, with things that you don't want. You know, it's not an equation that yeah. you really want to have. So I don't mind these guys who don't have swag. There's no, there, I, I don't think that those two align. If, if a woman is doing the pursuing, she's not awkward. She's, she's not socially awkward, and she, she would never really have the courage to do that. But she has no, confidence. Most, no, most. Say, I, I yeah. think it's a matter she's of confidence. She's, not, no, she's the one that the women that pursue. She's confident. confident. Guys, Why she's more than confident. She's, she's confident by results, she's which means she's successful. Yeah. Women that pursue men. Are the the only women that pursue men are successful women because they know how to get what they want. Mm -hmm. Those are the type of women that pursue men. Those are the women I like, by the way. So y'all know. <laughs> um, <laughs> but <laughs> like I'm talking about it in my book. I think there's two things that was said which is so yeah. important. One, I think confidence plays a yeah. vital role. Definitely. And what Anna said is that natural curiosity. You have, when you have people that are just have a thirst for life, a natural curiosity, they want to learn things, they're going to approach you, they're going to talk to you. And then on top of that, that need for connection. <laughs> so I think those three things are vital. When we talk about swag or people that are very charismatic, is that they have this air about them. They have an air of confidence. They have an air of curiosity. They have an air of wanting to connect with people. So maybe get out of your head a little bit. Mm-hmm and get out into the world.